Hello friends. So let's continue this series uh, forward by looking at the four social reformer. Okay. Today we are going to study about a person whose name is Lok Hitwadi. Okay, I guess this is the fourth social reformer in this particular series, whose name is Lok Hitwadi, also called as Gopal Hari. Deshmukh. Okay. He was born, you can see, in 1823 and was present till 1892. Okay. You can say a brief lifespan of 69 years. Okay. Lifespan of 69 years. So, Lok Hitwadi, whose name was Gopal Hari Deshmukh. We are going to see about this particular person in details. Firstly, he was born on, you can say, 18th of February, 1823. 18th of February. 1823, where in Pune itself. He was born on 18th of February, 1823 in Pune itself. Now, you can say he was the greatest leader in the field of religious renaissance or renaissance. Okay. Religious renaissance. And also has contributed towards the society. How? We'll see this in the uh, in this lecture itself, okay. So next, talking about him, that this particular person knew English, he knew Sanskrit, he knew Persian, he knew Gujarati, and Hindi. So you see, he knew so many languages. So it is sure that he worked as a translator. Okay, you can say that he worked as a translator of government as he knew so many languages he it is obvious that he would be working or it is the best job what he can do okay so he served as a translator for the government okay and later you can say he took many government positions or he served as shirastidar then munsif then inam commissioner And also judge. Okay, he played so many roles for the government, and that's why by by becoming impressed by the services what he has pronounced or uh, the services which he has provided to the government, government also awarded him a title of Rao Bahadur. Okay, he also got this particular title. See, up till now we have seen two persons who got this particular title. Okay, name them in the comments. Okay, first one. Go, uh, Gopal Hari Deshmukh, now we are seeing which is supposed to be the first, uh, the person we have seen in the previous session. It's up to you now. Answer it. Okay. Who was the person who was awarded this particular title of Rao Bahadur in our lecture series, which we have seen before? Lok Hitwati. Okay. Just tell me the answer. Second thing, what you can say about the social changes? He started to write in Bahu Mahajan, a person whose name was Bahu Mahajans. Newspaper started to write in Bahu Majan's newspaper called as Prabhakar. Okay, see the questions on newspapers are often asked in the examination. In this year, means also you can find this particular thing. Uh, Rajasthava, street services means you can find the question on this particular part. Bahu Mahajan's Prabhakar newspaper. Okay, so he wrote articles in Bahu Mahajan's Prabhakar newspaper. These articles later were uh, known, or you can say they were famous by the name called as Shata Patres. Okay, these articles uh, further got famous by the word or uh, by the title called as Shata Patres, that is 100 letters. Shata Patres. Okay, also he has written various books. Again, the question on the books are also very frequent. Okay, what are those particular books? First one is Lakshmi Nam. Lakshmi D Y N E N. Okay. Lakshmi Nyan. You need to remember these names in Marathi itself. Okay. Second one is Etihasik Goshti. Okay. Second one is Etihasik Goshti. Third one is Panipat. Shi Ladhai. Okay. Next one is Kalayu. Kalayu. Okay. Next is um, Kalayu. Next book you can see is Bhikshuk. Next book what he has written is 
भिक्षुक जैन के लंके इतिहास देन नेक्स्ट थिंग यू कैन से ही हेज रिटर्न जाति भेद जाति जाति भेद गीता वावरा ओके गीता वावरा भारत खंड पर्व ओके सो यू कैन से ही वॉज अ विजनरी थिंकर you can see the books what he has written and from this particular thing you can understand the context of the books whatever he has written it is easy for you to understand the context of this particular books okay so he was a visionary thinker who uh, through shatapatris what he has done he has criticized the evils in the society called this particular evils as rakshas okay samajatil rakshas and what were these two rakshas one was customs and second one traditions okay he called them two greatest evil of the society or two rakshas of the society what are those two things first one is customs and second one is tradition second thing you can say <clears throat> what he has done he has attacked on meaningless ideas or you can say meaningless customs okay which are do these meaningless customs first thing is uh, child marriages you can say dowry you can say polygamy okay he straight forwardly criticized on this particular uh, things from in shatapatri itself we are discussing okay so he criticized this particular things whereas he talked in the support of all round development okay that is hindus and muslims development that is women and male development okay so he propagated this particular thing that development should be all around and also women should be on par equal to men he pronounced this particular thing okay through chatapatri itself he was uh, continuously talking on this particular things that we should have a reformation we should do such things to promote women's more or uh, to increase the role of women in the society so he was discussing or continuously debating on this particular aspect you can say next thing about him is he was the one who propagated that the society should be homogeneous now what do you mean by this particular word homogeneous means what everything man should be equal as of now you have that brahmins are superior and uh, shudras were less what you are consider that particular time okay they enjoyed greatest autonomy in the society whereas they enjoyed very less autonomy in the society this was the thing so what he said society should be homogeneous means what brahmans and shudras should have equal status which we have as of today again we cannot commit it that it is we are almost equal but you can say uh, near to we are similar the status is similar not as equal as it should be but still you can say it is similar as of today okay means it is good we are on the good terms okay second thing what he do he has done is he has talked about okay he preached there should be change okay where uh, in religion change in religion and customs how as per time means as per him you can say in simple terms with the evolution of time the old traditions or the old customs which are not having any worth as of today should be discarded or should be thrown out of the society second thing you can say casteism he was very critical on casteism i told you pehle bhi maine bataya tha isi ke bare mein so he was of the view that casteism should be as abolished completely abolished or completely rid of from the society and also educated women should be educated and should be brought equal to that of males because education is the only tool through which the gap which is rising between males and the women could be breached or this particular gap between males and women can be erad completely eradicated with the engulfing of education and due to all these thoughts 
okay due to all these thoughts which he kept or which he proliferated through shatta patra or different different articles he was named by a pen name called as lok hit vadi okay he was also called as lok hit vadi gopal deshmukh was also called as lok hit vadi one more thing to throw light on him was his original surname was not deshmukh okay his original surname was not deshmukh he has done all this thing uh, the jobs which he has performed due to that particular thing he was called as deshmukh his original surname was siddheya okay gopal hari siddhe it should be the original surname which he had okay we have seen this particular name, gopal hari deshmukh so deshmukh was not his original surname but due to the jobs which he has performed you can see over, uh, sorry sorry you can see over here okay due to this particular jobs which he has performed people used to call him deshmukh deshmukh means what it is generally an influential person in the town in the village so that's why he was given so respect and that is deshmukh he was called deshmukh but his original surname what was it it was siddhe his original surname was siddhe and you can say finally he uh, the story of this particular social reformer ended by his death which was on 9th of october 1892 okay lok hit wadi bye he finally died over here so the story of this particular social reformer ends over here i hope you guys have got a clear idea of what lok hitwadi was or what all contributions he has made to the society okay so we'll continue about the next social reformer in the upcoming session thank you for being attentive have a good day children